Hey y'all, how are y'all doing today? Peace on earth and love and light to you. I am Gabrielle Ether. Welcome to Awake the Wisdom Within. So what do we have here? Okay, we have toys for you guys to choose from. And I also felt like maybe you guys wanted the children to be a part of the reading. Maybe not. Use your intuition on this because I really don't know what's going to come out okay so i will say i condition these readings to be kind of child friendly like i specifically ask spirit to not have any like spooky cards to come out that's why i, I like you know um use more of a playful deck the deck that my daughter really likes and um i did use one card for from like a more mature deck so yeah <laughs> So I just chose these Barbies. I know she had like a whole bunch of Barbies. So I was like, okay, let me just choose three Barbies so they can choose from them. And <laughs> I started not to pick this unique one right here. Um, Isn't she fabulous? Yeah, so she has her makeup done. And she has some of the best makeup work, um, period, okay? So, yeah, y'all, sometimes I see this doll and, like, I get scared of it, but. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm just kidding, just in case a child was out there watching. I was, like, um, I, I almost didn't put it out there, but I was, like, none of her dolls are, like, perfect because she she does stuff with them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I didn't even know they all look like that back then. She be cutting their hair and stuff, y'all. So, <laughs> yeah and then so i was like this one is like the most creative out of all of them so i'm gonna keep this one i think is this the one she gave bangs or did it come with bangs she could have gave it bangs i know it looks pretty even it probably came bangs with bangs she's obsessed with bangs so she will cut bangs onto a doll so i don't know anyways I was like, this is for a very special child. This is for like a little creative child. So let me put this in there. So who knows what's going to come out. Maybe that one is the creative one or this one. Who knows? Who knows, y'all? So let me stop right there and let me tell y'all I'm going to do a giveaway. Okay? I don't really know how many people I'm going to do this free reading for. I'm thinking I'm just going to do one person. And in the past, when I did giveaways, I would do like maybe six people. Oh my gosh. I know I'm not going to do that anymore. It requires way too much energy, way too much time. <laughs> So, and these days, I just don't have it. So, I'm going to do a giveaway. And to whoever, I don't care if um, I know you. So, just try to be one of the first people to email me and just say giveaway. You don't even have to say too much. You just say you want to be a part of the giveaway. And um, I'm not going to, like, pick who I want. I'm just going to go with, like, the first couple of people, maybe one or two who email me so you can stop the video and go ahead and do that right now so like if you really need this reading okay and please try to take advantage of it if you can't afford a reading right now this will be good for you and y'all don't take advantage of it if you know that you can afford a reading like try to give it to someone who who you know you like, there's, there has to be someone out there who can't afford a reading and is really going through something. So, you know, don't just be, you know, trying to take free stuff just because you can. Like, try to hold off and let it, allow it to go to someone who cannot really afford it, okay? But, um, what else I was going to say? Also, if you want to, if you want me to connect with your past, past loved ones, I'm not going to do that. I recently told someone that I don't do that. And I think I'm going to start doing that because it's just so many energies that never leave me alone. And it's because of the readings that I do now because, you know, I connect with so many people now. So there's just so many energies and so many people, so many people's ancestors always, you know, just want to follow me. So I guess I am going to start doing it now. I'm just, what I'm not going to do is conjure up anyone. I'm not going to go into a reading and call on a specific spirit. Okay. So, um, what I'm, well, hold on, hold on. I said that wrong. I said that wrong when it comes to the giveaway. I don't want to confuse you guys. When it comes to the giveaway, 
if an ancestor wants to come in and I'm hearing that, then yeah, I will convey the message to you guys. But as far as the giveaway, if you want me to talk to a specific ancestor, I'm not going to do that because I'm only going to offer that service for pay, okay? Because when it comes to going into another realm, into another dimension, and actually conjuring up another spirit and telling that person to come down and talk to me, when that person probably don't even want to talk to me, so, like, you probably miss them, but they're probably not ready to talk. Who knows? That has happened to me before, okay? So, that's why, like, a couple of reasons why I was like, no, nah, like, I don't even want to do that. But I will, but those readings will only be for pay, okay? Whenever you want me to connect with someone, I will do it, but it's it's going to, um, they're going to be a little bit more pricey, than you know my regular readers as far as the giveaway go i am not doing that in the giveaway if an ancestor chooses to come through while i'm doing the reading now i've always done that now then sure i will convey the message so that's the type of giveaway that i'm doing just to let you guys know so yeah go ahead and email me and i'll take the first couple of people maybe one maybe two maybe three i doubt more than three it might just be only one, you guys. And I'm just going to say that just to be honest because I don't know how I'm going to feel. I just know, I don't know who's going to email me. And different people's energies are just different, you know. And I just cannot put out, you know, um, give out too many. Like, I know a girl who, who, who just can't do it at all. Like, all of her readings have to be for pay because she just puts so much energy and love into her readings, you know. So, she has to have some type of form of energy exchange. And, yeah, so that's all, uh, y'all. That's what I wanted to tell y'all about the giveaway. So, have you guys been led to your toy? <laughs> yeah, this is a reading for your children. Are y'all waiting on me? Were y'all waiting on me? Oh, no. I know, I know, I know. Tell your children. I just had to say that right quick. <laughs> okay, then. Let's go. Okay, so for those of you guys who were led to the guy doll, the Ken doll, my daughter names all her dolls, but she don't name the boy one. She just call him man. So for those of you guys who were led to this one, Let's see what your message is. So, like, if um, you guys didn't hear me in the beginning, I said, I kind of pretty much uh, condition the card so the message will come out. The messages will come out so harsh. Like, if you want to invite your children in to the reading and have them pick a card. But if not, if your intuition is telling you no, then, you know, don't do it. But we actually have a child like expression card. Okay, children come through. And this is just a general message for your children. Cultivation. Perseverance. Innocence. Okay. The sorcerer. I know what this message is going to say. You can have your children stay in if you want to. But this is going to be really geared towards adults. Okay. So, pause the video and tell them to come back or something. <laughs> Maybe I do a reading, you know, specifically for just for only four children to hear but this right here i knew that this could go either way i can automatically tell this is more mature this is you putting more putting in more time and effort with your children okay so with this sorcerer card here there's definitely like an energy over you a negative energy something that someone has like um instilled in you just because I think it's generational. I feel like your mother was probably like this or your father was probably like this. So now you're like this too. And this is you uh, putting real, you have to realize that, um, that your child is just that a child, very innocent, innocent in this whole thing, you know, didn't ask to be here didn't ask for you know um, any type of treatment okay so i don't know what type of treatment you are giving your child i don't know who's going to be led to this reading so um the energy that i'm feeling like right now that it's not i don't feel like it's just anything horrible but hey you guys know i always gotta <laughs> the someone called me yesterday and she was like i know you're gonna give me the truth because you always give me the truth you give it to me straight up and like i have to y'all so 
um, this is you coming together, developing more of a relationship, more of a bond with your child. And if you already feel like you do that, this is just you just doing it more. Because I remember the other day, I had a dream where Spirit was telling me, like, you forgot about your daughter. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have forgot about her. Because, y'all, sometimes we get so consumed with paying bills. Um um buying grocery buying clothes buying school products and just try to keep a roof over our children's head that we forget like hold on we got to take them places too we got to play with them too they need to go outside in the fresh air too you know like <laughs> do we need to take them on special dates also we need to be taking them to the museum and stuff like that we need to be sitting down spending the quality time with them and having them to learn so like i said that that dream came to me the other day so if I could be honest with myself, you guys can be honest with yourselves too. And I know sometimes it's hard to hear that um, your children just really need you and it, and you haven't been doing a good job with, especially I'm looking at this car being like in a negative position or upside down fashion. You haven't really been doing a good job with um, spending time with them or this is a cultivation card. I'm just feeling like come together. If you're looking for a way to come together with your child, do it musically is what I'm saying, just because of this card. And I never interpret this card as anything musical. I look at it like music is something that brings um, people together, and it is the cultivation card. So I just always say something that needs to come together when I see this card, okay? So perseverance is just basically just saying, you know, what I've been saying the whole time. So just continue to like continue to put effort into this continue to put the right energy into your your child okay yeah i think that message is over i was trying to think was there anything else to say i know i didn't want the messages to be long and that's probably it just remember with this sorcerer card down here i just feel like this is something generational and hey you can't when we're wise enough to know that our parents treated us a certain kind of way, then we should be wise enough to know that another child don't deserve that. Because if you know you didn't deserve that, then why in the world would you make your child feel the same way that you felt, okay? That's just um, not right. If you have any type of conscience, you know, it's not right. Only evil people do that. And I know you guys are not evil, right? Only evil people can say, even though I felt like this, so what if I make another human being feel like this, feel like that? Because what I tell you guys all the time, the universe, the universe only responds to positivity. I've been on this earth long enough to see that if you want things to come into your life, then you're going to have to bring it. You're going to have to vibrate under a positive frequency, okay? And a lot of us want things to come into our life, and then we forget about our children. And the universe is saying, how do you expect me to bring something positive into your life when you don't have, you don't, when you're not even bringing positivity into your own seed, okay? So, the thing is, you guys, it's not like you're not justified. It's not like that you can't complain, like you can't sit down and cry about it. Because, true, you did go through those things. I went through some, through some things personally in my childhood. And more so in my adulthood, me, Gabrielle Ether, I did. And I know that um, it's like a balance sometimes. I just cannot do the things to my children that I have, you know, I can't treat my children in the way that my parents treated me. And with that being said, sometimes I mess up. So don't beat yourself up if you mess up because we are all are going to mess up. Because yeah, this is a conversation I was having with like one of my best friends the other day. One of my best friends, that's a guy. And me and him, we were saying like, we just tend to um want to be the best parents or the most perfect parents and trying to do that we mess up sometimes we actually ignore our kids sometimes in a um in a way that we don't even really see or know just because we're trying not to be like our parents and then we end up being just like the them but don't beat yourself up for it okay because there is no perfect um 
family out there. There's no perfect parent out there. Um, you're not going to get everything right with your child. Just, you know, continue to make the effort. This message has to come out for a reason. This was, uh, this message right here was, was clear as day. But, um, yeah, so just, just remember that, you guys. I thought I was about to say something else. Uh, I, the only thing, I'm not going to say anything else, but I'm just really, really picking up on people who beat themselves up for this. So if you if you're gonna continue to beat yourself up to this for for this, then a lot of that is conviction. It's because you know that you're wrong. Okay, it's not that you feel in. It's it's not the other way around. It's not um, you're just feeling and it, and it can be you're just feeling bad for the situation because you want to do better or something like that. It's more so of a conviction. It's more so of um, your spiritual team tugging on you, tugging on you, tugging on you, saying pay attention to your children a little bit more. So yeah, like I said, I went through this and my daughter is around me. Like y'all, isn't she in like almost every video of mine? <laughs> so, and like me and my friend, like he was like, he was like, yeah, the same thing happened to me. He was like, because I'm thinking I'm around my children every day. So, like, how do they need my attention? <laughs> and he was like, um, his fiance told him because they do, you know, you're not spending enough of time with them. And he was like, yeah, that's true. And he said he just had to be honest with himself. Like, even though he's around his children all the time, he wasn't putting in the effort because what is he doing? Out trying to make sure the family is surviving. And, hey, if that's not love, I don't know what it is. Because sometimes it's not the fact that you don't love your your kids. It's just the fact that we're unaware. And we're dealing with things on our own, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. But, yeah, don't continue to beat yourself up. And if you keep feeling that feeling, then just make changes, okay? So, that's all, y'all. Um, yeah, I don't feel like if there's any, like, horrible, horrible energy here. So, if um, I already know that you guys are good-hearted people, good good hearted people people who have ultimately good souls so just convey that energy that loving positive energy onto your children okay teach them to be the loving and wonderful person that you are okay that's all y'all continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe bye okay so for those of you guys who was drawn to the doll with the best makeup job period <laughs> Here is your reading. Generosity. Okay. That's energy. Definitely feel that. Splendor. <clears throat> this is energy. Embrace. Okay. Jaguar. Do I need to pull more cards? You guys, if you need a personal reading, let me know. I wanted to get a personal reading from my daughter, and this is um, kind of confirming. Um, I'm not saying that this is the one that I picked, but I'm just saying, like, this is kind of confirming that I should get a personal reading when it comes to her. That's one reason why I'm doing this reading. Like, Spirit has been tugging on me forever, y'all, to do a reading for children. So, since I've been having so many dreams about my daughter lately, I was like, let me get up and just do this reading, okay? But, um... This is energy of your child or children. So, um, I see one and I see three, meaning I'm about to explain at least three or three of your children. And I might just be talking about one specific child. So, this is a very loving, very giving, very sharing child. This is the child that when they have other people coming around, you don't have to tell them to share because they're already like, hey, you want to play with me? You can have this one. I can have that one. Um, <laughs> you know, they're already like, hey, you, do you want some of this? Do you want some of mine? They're, this is just a very loving, warm spirit, okay? So, um... There's an energy following this child, okay? Child. <clears throat> Every time I do these readings, y'all, my throat chakra starts to act up. Very beautiful child. Something about their eyes, like when people see them, they they probably um, commit 
them on their eyes. I don't know if their eyes is just a different color, color or something. Um, unique for their ethnicity, maybe um a minority. You know, minorities either you're black or Latino. It's not really um coming for us to have like blue eyes or something like that. So I think it, they have like a beautiful, really beautiful feature about them. Maybe it's their hair or something. And people always say like oh well you know i feel like you kind of always adorn their hair with things and um you, you you keep them really pretty so yeah i'm i'm thinking about a little girl i'm i'm getting a boy too but right now i'm picking up girl energy because you you keep this child really adorned with beautiful you know um with with like beautiful hairstyles and people often come at you on their hairstyles i feel like even if they don't have um a different color eyes they just have beautiful eyes and people are always coming to them about their looks but this is um one reason that they do this because because the child is just beautiful inside and out this is a beautiful child okay Okay, so is your child kind of afraid of things? Kind of like what a other ch an other children would be called, like Freddy Cat or something like that, Scaredy Cat or something like that. And you always have to teach them about fear. It's, this child is, ex is extremely sensitive to negative energy. Um, there is some type of presence that follows this child. The, um, your child is like an automatic doorway to spirits, okay? So, therefore, spirits follow, follow your child. They need to be wearing something protective. If you don't believe in, believe, believe in that, then all I can say is um, um, pray for them. But they literally need something that's going to project positive energy all the time. If they because the reason i'm saying where because children you know usually like i got my daughter like she used to always take her bracelet off and now she wears it all the time i got my friend to make one specifically for her i told her i want this type of crystal in it and this type of crystal in it because i knew she needed protection and i knew she needed some things as far as her body went to and her mind goes so i'm uh, so i made i had that one made personally for her and from a friend who makes bracelets so if you guys want a specific bracelet made um uh, contact me and i'll contact my friend okay because she will do it but you know she has a lot of personal personal orders it might take her a while personalized orders so it might take her a while but it's not going to take like a month or anything like that so um she might be watching this video. She might. No, she's not going to be watching this video because she don't have any children. I was about to say, because if you're watching this video, comment your information in the comment section. But she's not. <laughs> so I have to tell her. Because I think it's really important. Um, and if you are familiar with crystals, you can get them personalized. If you don't, then order a personal reading for me. And I will tell you what crystals to get for your child and also for yourself. So, here's something easy you can do also. When you get them out the tub, give them spiritual baths just like you give yourself, okay? Wash, when you wash their hair, wash the, all the negativity that could have been, that could have been in their mind and around the crown chakra and just things that are just sticking to their, you know, hair follicles and stuff like that. And, um... Cleanse them from the, from their head to their toe just because this is a beautiful child. But since they're so in, uh, empathic, they literally are going to be going through this from now to the, rest of their, to the rest of their life. They really sense energy, okay? So they're naturally scared of things. Um, a lot of this energy is nothing to be scared of, but they don't know what it is. They're too, they're young, you know? So they don't know. So you have to, um, so give them something that's going to kind of block. Obsidian blocks negative energy. I just wouldn't, um, they would just totally block it and it won't even, you know, it, and it actually adds like a, a more like a, a border shield around them. But I would not suggest any, um, 
child to wear obsidian or any adult because it ages you. So, but you can definitely get that for their room. Um, oh, but like I was about to say, real easy, just buy some essential oils, okay? And then add it with a carrier oil. So, carrier oil, olive oil, something like this. Something that's good for your skin, um, coconut oil. And you can get like sage or peppermint or um, uh, lavender. I, I use, since lavender is so positive, I use it as like a protection oil. Uh, something that they say that they like orange orange is good for protection or any citrus is good for protection um no let me just say let me just stick to a specific orange because i that's something that i know no um cinnamon um cinnamon is good for money too real good y'all so when they get out the tub just put that on them you know like before they go to bed or when they wake up in the morning before you guys go out somewhere put it like sometimes when I, whenever i'm doing my daughter's hair i always like put i don't always just when i feel necessary i either put coconut oil or olive oil on her hair just for her to have a shield of protection when she's walking around okay because like i said she's not going to keep their bracelet on all the time even though she keeps it on more now and also if you're not familiar with crystals if you're going to have them wear a bracelet make sure that they take it off sometimes children are so sense are more sensitive than we are they're not even they're not going to wear their jewelry that long anyways they're you know they're going to feel the energy like like my daughter always says i I had to take my bracelet off because it needed to be charged you know <laughs> so she'll take it off and she'll put it on some satin spar or a selenite and let it charge and she'll get it in the morning she'll put it back on or either just sit in the sunlight and let it charge and let it cleanse itself you know and so um uh what else am i trying to say this mission is going to be pretty simple just rub them you can you can simply use only olive oil because it's so protective only coconut oil because it's so protective set your attentions and that's it that's what i do with my daughter um but i think it's important for spirit to let you guys know that this child is uh, an empath so I see a boy child that I'm about to talk about now. This could very well be a girl child with like a lot of masculine energy. And when I say that, I don't mean tomboy. I just mean someone that she's probably fast or um, she probably makes fast decisions. She's just quick, you know, um, probably just like really, uh, when I say really smart, I mean like uh, I have to use that as masculine energy when it comes to a child because I'm talking about someone who's quick, like, um, like really witty but intelligence is, is not just like a form of masculine energy so i'm not saying that i'm saying this to describe the child like really you know someone who's really witty is really quick has like really quick thoughts so but i feel like i'm talking to a male child or a female child with a lot of masculine energy okay and so could be tomboyish yeah so but this child has some type of presence that follows them I don't know what this is. It's a presence that follows your child, and this presence kind of like your child. Um, it came from somewhere. So if you guys need a personal reading, let me know because I don't know where it came from. A family member, um, social media. This is why I don't post my daughter that much, but um, I try to say like look. A little protection prayer when i do my grandma get all of her into her feelings when i don't post her so like i'll send pictures to my grandma phone and she don't know how to see them <laughs> but she knows how to get on facebook and she said like they'll pop up so <laughs> um that's one main reason why i do it for her and my mama too and um hey Honestly, I don't know where this presence has come from, but I can clearly see a presence uh, following your child. Maybe from you, maybe you do a lot of readings like I do. Maybe you talk to a lot of people like I do. You're around a lot of people like I am. Um, spirits are always coming through. There's one that specifically is quite fond of your child. Yeah, and I do see it being kind of perverted. 
maybe YouTube, yeah, maybe YouTube, maybe a movie, maybe, um, I'm, you guys know what I'm really feeling like, I'm really feeling like family member, and I don't feel like generational curse, like I was just saying on the last one, I don't feel like it's that, I'm thinking some entity is sitting up there like a negative person that watches your child. So, um, just watch when you're around certain family members. Y'all don't act like this ain't real. Like we don't have people that, with that jaguar spirit, um, spirit animal out there. It always comes to show you things are hidden. Like it comes to show you the truth and, um, don't act like it's not real. Don't act like we don't have predators in our family. A lot of people don't even want to admit or probably don't even know. And so I really feel like someone sees your child and they've just become quite smitten with them <laughs> it's not funny but i the reason i said it like that because i always watch this uh man who he's like british or something he's just quite smitten he says that a lot but this is true y'all and so if you want to know more of who this is and where this energy came from so you can block it and stop it from coming from your child, who knows? It could be a plethora of things. The only way I, that I'll be able to see what this is is through personal reading. You can go to your favorite reader and just tell them, like, if this is really resonating with you, like, if your ch children are saying, like, they saw something or if they're just doing, like, sexual things and you like, where did you get that from? Then this is resonating with you. This is the energy that's following your child and it don't need to be there. So, if anything, if you can't afford a personal reading, watch what they're watching watch who you are around if you have to be around people a lot like if you do hair or something like that if you do makeup just make sure they're always wearing that protection jewelry make sure you at least have them on oil or something like that or just keep a covering over them like period right before anyone coming because i don't know where this energy came from but if you guys want to block this energy from never coming in again and now you're gonna have to do something to get rid of this energy okay now you're gonna have to do some type of ritual to get rid of the energy that is around your child a spiritual bath could be enough because if you put them in some purifying water you wash in their hair and you put them on all this good energy you think that negative energy is going to want to stay around that no they're going to leave okay <laughs> so um different strokes for different folks you got some you got some high level entities negative entities that they you know um might be able to still go back a little bit but come right back so like i said you might just have to totally do a ritual to get it out of there like just do some um cleansing around your house and uh, i have a video that i haven't posted i'm gonna post that you guys about um one way you can cleanse your house and get rid of negative entities or just contact someone just look up on youtube how to get rid of negative energies out of your house it shouldn't be anything too hard and that's all y'all continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's be a part of each other's tribe bye okay so for those you guys who are drawn to this beauty here with the with the really cool haircut like don't all don't all like children dolls look like this though y'all is my child the only one who who like be cutting her doll hair and stuff like i don't like her, i don't allow her to play with scissors she has like her little girl scissors but um because she's had like some things in the past she got in trouble with but i will allow her to cut her doll's hair because i just allow her to do things that have to do with creativity so she cuts the baby's hair it's like <laughs> she looks just like angelica doll and that's why angelica doll look like that because that's how a lot of kids dolls are looking right so here we go it has steadfastness <clears throat> we have protection personal transformations let's see here okay so we have a special child here. I forgot to say in the last message. Oh my gosh. This is when I feel like your children can actually be in on. Very special child. This child, um, I feel like I'm picking up some of the child's or children's energy. 
because someone is very like um uh, like the car says steadfast very headstrong maybe a bull you know maybe a taurus maybe a capricorn a virgo just really headstrong type of personality that's just not going to change their minds for nothing so some type of fixed sign maybe leo maybe aries someone that's just um very very headstrong okay so um this is a lovely child what a lovely energy to have like even though as a child it might be hard to work with as a parent because you really it's really hard to get this child to do anything you tell them to do because they're just so headstrong okay so <laughs> i hear someone saying this child is different than my last child but your last child was probably did not probably have like this fixed energy in them as much as this child does like sometimes you guys we have to look at look at things that come you know it's, and a lot of people don't look at astrology as natural but it is pretty natural to me we have to look at things like that like well last time i had a libra you know or 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 a gemini you know i didn't have you know you have to think about it sometimes i didn't have a headstrong child i didn't have a a virgo you know last time sometimes you have to think about stuff like that and so not saying that um even if you're a gemini they can't be headstrong gemini's are just usually go with the flow type of people so i'm not saying that because you'll have some stubborn gemini's too okay <laughs> so i'm not saying that at all but i'm just picking up the energy kind of headstrong very headstrong child but i don't feel like bad energy this child is just very well protected you're here you're here just to know that the child is going through something where they're they're kind of just doing things kind of differently than you would or than a lot of kids their age do just don't um worry too much about this child because this child is nothing to worry about this child is very protected their life and their destiny is very protected it's nothing wrong with them they're just actually going through growing pains you know and i'm maybe um i'm picking up i guess children of all ages maybe more of a older child energy teenage 11 um like 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 something like that um because very well could be um a child younger than that even older too because this child's child or person i'm going to say person now because i am i think of someone is here for like an old older child like a 20 something 30 something year old you know because you're just here checking on your children and this child is kind of moving a person i'm going to start saying a person now too because i really feel like some of you guys are here for an older older child they're just kind of going in their own way and they're just growing up and they're going through growing pains they're doing stuff differently than you would so you know back in the day when nobody dying their hair pink yellow purple and this child wants their hair pink yellow purple now if you're like me you'll you might you you'll allow your child to experience express themselves that's how i feel you might not feel like me so i'm not going to give you that as an advice i'm not giving the one that as advice okay so that's this is just me that we are talking now so my child wants her hair pink then pink hair she'll get <laughs> but um i don't i'm not going to bleach her hair and dye it pink i just put like pink extensions in them and that's good enough for her. If she wants rainbow rainbow hair, then rainbow hair she'll get. I've given her I've given her like rainbow hair before. And but it was with braids, you know. And the thing is the one thing that's good about um nowadays, these um you're it's not looking at as the energy has changed, you know. So sometimes we have to look at this. Sometimes we look at things as like we have to pay attention to that the energy is changing, okay? And the uh red hair energy uh 10 years ago is different than red hair energy today you know or colorful hair energy 10 years ago is different than colorful hair energy today colorful hair energy today has changed dramatically you know it's not anything that's going to come off rebellious it could just be someone who's just like a chameleon you know has that chameleon energy and that's always changing someone who's just very creative you know but that's how i see i just let her if she wants to be creative but that's that you guys that's just one of those things that i did was because my mother never let me do anything creative she just felt like it was a waste of time so that's something that i personally deal with but i and what i am saying spiritually 
spiritually to you guys is that your child is moving in a different way than you would move okay so with that being said nothing is wrong with your child your child is just moving differently don't feel like that this child is going off of their course of life that they're not doing what they're supposed to do their only only thing they're doing is just growing up and experiencing they could be 30 years old in doing what i'm saying they're doing right now because we still are forever growing and you know you you probably like well you know what i just didn't move like that or i don't know really people who move like this but just allow the child to especially if they're older then you're gonna have to just allow them you know to do them but don't feel like they're um this child is so protected that they're not going to go off of their destiny they're not going to go off of their path they're just moving differently okay so and i think with this seer card here it's just being very literal you have some seers um uh, for children you have like some seers some psychics some prophets some highly intuitive kids okay and so usually you know any seer is just really creative you know a lot of seers are just just really creative being a soul if they're just doing or and they're gonna see things that they might well like i say like i was saying when it comes to creativity they just might dress differently and wear their hair differently but if they are a seer then you know they're usually seers are usually just before their time and they're not going to think in the way everyone else thinks they're just not going to see the world in the way everyone else sees the world you know they probably see politics differently differently than you they see religion differently than you because a seer just sees things you know they probably have tapped into some old ancient wisdom you know and they seem like hold on like this was probably done like this like way 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 back and it has yet to even um like you guys there are there's wisdom so like sometimes i don't know why people feel like old wisdom is like outdated when sometimes it's like there's wisdom that's on that that's really ancient that was alive like trillions and whatever millions billions of years ago that the people of today can't touch you know just like people still can't understand how the pyramids was built you know that's just a level of intelligence that was put into some people back then that the people here with all their technology and stuff still can't uh can't grasp just like when it comes that's why it's so easy for for the governments of this world to fool people with this corona stuff because how easy and how simple it is to cure AIDS. You got these doctors here saying that there is no cure. And it's not, a lot of them just don't want to admit it. They do know, but some of them, they just don't even have the mind to to go outside of that. So I feel like they're seers, but they're very well protected. Their destiny is protected. Don't worry about them. And they're just different people, okay? They're chameleons. And I think some of you guys were here because you were worried about how they were going in their life and their life path. But they're actually doing exactly what they're supposed to do right now in their life, okay? So you definitely could get a personal reading when it comes to this child. Like if you're just that concerned with um with the way this child with the way the child is going, um, the path that they're choosing to go down and you feel like, yeah, I am really concerned about this Gabrielle, but I don't know. I think they are going to the wrong direction. I can only answer that with a personal reading, okay? So the link to my email is always in the description and always in the comment section. And yeah, y'all, I do phone readings. A lot of people say that they look for people like that and they didn't know that I did, but I do. So that's all y'all. Continue to come across me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe. Bye.